tease, Craig. That's just a tease. Now, which defenses have improved their stop rate ranking the most since the end of September? College football teams. If I throw Texas out there, would you believe it? Um, I don't know. I, well, I mean, that second game, they had a pretty good stop They've rate. They've gone from 69th overall to 33rd. Well, yeah, okay. Missouri, 61st to 26th. Clemson from 47th to 13th. Yeah, they have a good defense. Notre Dame, 57th overall to 29th. But again, stop rate is how many points do you allow per drive? Notre Dame is now 29th. Kansas State, 52nd, now to 25th. They probably did that in one week. They might have done that 48 uh, 0 against Oklahoma State. Uh, and there's others that are higher ranked, like, for example, that, all right, does this surprise you? Michigan, number one. No. They're fantastic defense. Illinois, number two. Nope. Their whole thing is. We hear a lot about Michigan and Ohio State and the collision course that they're on, and I get that, but doesn't Michigan have Illinois on their schedule? Uh, I, I don't know off the top of my head. I don't know. I believe they do. I'm looking right now. And I'm not saying that Michigan won't be favored. They will be, but that that's not a gimme with the way Illinois is playing right now, and Michigan would be favored maybe by five, six, seven points. I yes, don't know. Michigan plays Illinois at home on – July or July on November 19th. All right, that's in three weeks. Right, right before they play Ohio State. So this is the one that always when I see their name and I go, wow, San Jose State number three. Ohio State. How much of a job is the new defensive coordinator from Oklahoma State already done for the Buckeyes? Jim Knowles has done a, a great job. And the question that Ohio State had all year long was, is it scheme or is it talent? Because We've seen people misidentify talent all the time for good teams, and Ryan Day hasn't really done that. Well, clearly he wasn't doing it there uh, because the scheme is there and now the talent is producing. So Ohio State, number four. You get a lot of what they do offensively. They're very explosive offensively, but not enough credit has been given right now to what they're also doing on defense. Alabama, five. That kind of surprises me when you have the shootout game with Tennessee. But their overall number five stop but, rate. But look, they shut down a really good offense in Mississippi State. I mean, just completely mm -hmm. crushed them into dust. So, yeah, no, I mean, they, I think I think the biggest thing about Alabama is not that the their one off game that they that they lost, but their kind of roller coaster of, you know, in their in their best seasons, every Alabama game was them versus kind of a faceless opponent, and it looked the same way. That's not – they're not as consistent this year. No. And that's why I think what their games look like. Georgia's seven, not a surprise. You know, they just keep beating people up and now have the uh, really ultimate test, at least it's here's appears with Tennessee. Boise State had the tough start. They're now six and two. In fact, they play – I played Brigham Young. Play Brigham Young this weekend. Boise State number eight. Now, here's the one that's outside the box that doesn't make sense because of their record. Damn Iowa State. Number nine overall with the overall best stop rate. Number nine overall, Iowa State, and yet they are now 0 and 5, goose egg and 5 in the Big 12. Yeah, their offense sucks, uh, and they still don't have very good special teams. It's almost like Matt Campbell uh, going over his offseason plans and what they need to work on just, you know, continues to feel like special teams isn't all that important, uh, or at least it seems to rear its ugly head. So. Uh, I'm not surprised by that. Anybody who's watched Iowa State knows they've got a good defense, and the rest of it's just very blah and uh, not very good. So, uh, you know, we'll see how Hunter Deckers continues to get better as time goes on, but uh, they have no run game to speak of, and uh, they're basically just hoping that they can, you know, get enough points. They know they'll get enough stops, but they just hope they get enough points, and more often than not, they haven't, and that's why they're, they're winless in the Big 12. Clemson 13, they have been, you know – Paul, you even mentioned two or three weeks ago they started to turn the corner, even though they've had a had to escape. Ah, escape may not be the right word. Liberty 16, Tulane 17. Iowa, as good as their defense has been, they did get beat up by Ohio State, I think it was, but 18th in the country. We know that that, of course, means nothing because they can't score. Here's one that kind of surprised me, though. 22nd is Tennessee. 22nd, Tennessee averaging 1.63 points per drive. Uh, right now, uh, the Volunteers. So those are Tennessee, Cincinnati, Kansas State, 24-25. Texas is at 33. I mentioned them earlier. Baylor is 50. Yeah, it's, West that, Virginia, Oklahoma State, Brigham Young, you know. 
No, I'm sure they they creeped up a little bit last week. They had a very good stop rate against Texas Tech. So, one a 